So like, I think it would be something like that. And that's why I kind of ask these questions in alignment because it's like, it's, it's like all of them align together, right? Because we are friends and we had this relationship before, before us laying down in bed, before us doing all sexually. If we have the, this friendship tie and we're really soul to soul connected, right? I can tell you these things and we can walk, walk through it together. We can, we can work out our differences. We can work out our emotions and our pride and our egos. We can put that to the side because we have something real together, mm -hmm. right? But I think, you know, a lot of times what we want and what we have is something totally different, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, I want that. I want to be able to have that conversation with my partner, but it's just not but real. But I might not At be as moment. receptive. I, I, I think that it's just a growth thing. So, like, I, I, I know that he comes from a background of not feeling like he has the women in his life that he can't talk to mm -hmm. without them... That's a lot of us, though, as men. Right? Yeah. As men, so, a lot of so us have my, that. I, I was raised by both my mom. parents, but my, my dad is very prevalent in my life, and my father is real heavy in my ear of, no, nah, you can't do that to niggas, because niggas, yeah. all they're going to do is do it anyway and just not yeah. tell you about it. Mm. Yeah. Like, like, you, you yeah. want to make sure that you're, like, my father is real, like, I will, I will explain the whole problem to my dad, and my father will be looking at me, and I look up at the screen, and he laughing. And I'm like, nigga, what? He like. Yeah, that nigga gonna cheat on you if you keep doing that shit. <laughs> like, he, and, and that, but that's why I am this, the way I am. That's why I'm so understanding. Because he'll yeah. be like, no. Man, he'll be he like, you have, to, me, you have to so, create a space for your man yeah. where even if you're mad, like he he'll, he tells me, yeah. I hope, like I, I feel like he does. Yeah. Majority of things that he's feeling as it pertains to other women or yeah. anything like that. Because like, men have urges. It is, I don't think that there's a nigga on this earth that they is dating mm -hmm. that that dates that doesn't have urges. So to mm -hmm. give y'all a little context, and I told TK this, her dad built a woman that for today's society. Mm -hmm. He built a woman that he wanted to to probably, this is gonna sound weird, but just accept it like for it. the 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 facts in it. He built this woman for somebody that he would have liked to be able to date, right? Mm -hmm. Damn. So a lot yeah. of the problems that That's like deep. black that men is. feel, and I I've dealt with it with other yeah. women when I come to it with her and I'm like, she going she gonna the same yeah. way. She doesn't yeah. react like that at all. And yeah. and I know it's specifically because how he trained yeah. her to think. Yeah. Cause she thinks so differently. I understand like why you took the route you did because uh, that's yeah. what we've been trained to condition. It's like, hey, and nah, I can't really come to you and say mm -hmm. all of this. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's crazy. Do you think, honestly, just having, having this conversation, do you think, because a lot of this comes with that, the backlash and just us as men or a society calling our black woman angry, right? And I feel like that's a stigma that we see a lot or that we hear a lot, right? You yeah. spoke on it a few times. Do you think that angry black woman could be eliminated if more of the father figures was in their life? Oh, oh God, for sure. Or as, as a woman, for sure. Damn. Because uh, my, my mom, my dad have six girls together yeah. and my, my father was in yeah. uh, my life, yeah. kind of in my second sister's yeah. life and in my third sister's life. But then the last three of my sisters have are completely different women than the first three of us. Uh, and, and I know that a lot, as, especially as it pertains to like men and how they treat men. And I don't need one of my, I don't need a yeah. nigga for shit. And then yeah. there's another one that's like, if a nigga talk to me any kind of way, where as the first three or me, I spend the most time around my dad. I'm more even, evenly yoked of, yeah. yeah, I ain't letting no nigga talk crazy to me. I'm not letting, letting no nigga talk down on me, but I'm still hear you out. Like, yeah. I know I, I, yeah. I know that you want to talk and you just want to have a safe space, so I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to, what are you thinking? How do you feel? Do you got this bitch that you, that's bad? Let me see her. That's my first thing. Let me yeah. see her. Well, there's I'm a, she bad? There's I'm like, oh, she is bad. I, I actually want to shout out disconnect. to your dad because, like, you know, I even know some females with their dads in their life that didn't give them the same form of training. So yeah. I think it also just depends on the person, the person in itself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What they see that maybe, you know, I feel like, like he said, your dad's angle was what men just need from their woman. You know, some men, you know, also treat their daughters like daddy's little girls. Like, you know, yeah. and it's like, don't get a man like me, but not what we need from a woman. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They're training them. The opposite way, like, um, don't that's, no, that's my dad. Like you know what I'm saying? My dad's so, a trash. Yeah. She was a trash. Exactly. Like, so, so I want to give y'all, I want to yeah. give y'all some <laughs> facts, dope. right? Speaking of like, you know, crushes and things, right? Yeah. And I don't know a lot of people. I don't think a lot of people know about this. So, um, this is from the Huff Post. According, according to psychologist uh, Samantha Rodman, it's a common place for people in relationships to develop crushes, especially after a couple has been together for some time. So that's a a normal thing. Um, as much as we want to deny it and say we wouldn't do this and that if we ever got in a situation where I wouldn't be in that posi yeah. position. It's, it's normal. A, it's and normal. it's super, yeah. it's more common for men. Yeah. More, more so. Hey, look, baby, you tell me about her. 
I think she cute. We could probably make some shake. Like, nah, we could probably we could probably make some. We could probably do some things. But if you gonna keep it underneath your, your belt wing. and and then let the shit fester and all that, now it's a situation. Now I might handle it different. Yeah, so it's like just it's it just it started mm -hmm. it started young. Just mm -hmm. like the communication barrier, like women don't know how to talk to men. Yeah, yeah. that's what when you don't have Everybody a father says, in your yeah. life, yeah. like they don't but know how we, to communicate and treat. But a man. do we know how right. to do we know how to communicate with each other though? Because I feel no. like it's a lot of times that I fall short of communicating properly to my woman. So I feel like I feel like when we say these things, you know, not saying you did it intentionally, yeah. but a lot of times how we speak is the nervousness that we're painting, right? So it's like yeah. women not knowing how to speak to men. Is that really no, the case or is that it's, what we... It's the other way around because think about it. Oh, were you raised in a two-parent household? No, I wasn't. I, I wasn't either. Oh, well, yeah. I was until sixth grade. Yeah. But it, it starts, and, and I hate to be this person. I never thought I would be this person, but it started in the black household because now you're raised by your mother or a yeah, woman my figure. Yeah. Think about how she raised you. You can never talk back to your mother. You couldn't tell your mother how you felt. Mm, so now fact. we don't know how to communicate with women. And because the black male wasn't in the household, the women don't know how to communicate back with the men. It's broken. That's a great mm. point. So now we're over here. We're literally actively trying yeah. to repair damage that yeah. has been done because of our parents. Yeah, and we, and it's a it's barrier and we like, you be saying something yeah. like this, and you be like, "Why the fuck can't she see this?" That's yeah. a fact. And then like, she be first, saying this, and be like, "Why the yeah, fuck can't wall. you see this?" But it's like we it's never seen it yeah. mesh. Yeah. So we're just at a loss. How do yeah. we? Well, how do we? We we got to a common ground. This therapy. This yeah. this, yeah. this podcast this shit information. Like this. Yeah. People don't know this. And, just and talking therapy. about it more. Right. All of that. Just stuff. Just talking about it more and just putting it out there that other people are going through it, and if we could collectively come together just to have a little more grace for each other yeah. as we're going through that journey. Yeah. It could get a little cleaner. Yeah. yeah, every step forward, it's not never gonna be perfect, but it's something. But it's something yeah. And I think it helps a lot. Yeah. Even like black yeah. love, y'all yeah. loving on each other yeah. is very important for yeah. like y'all kids to see, yeah. for y'all, even y'all parents yeah. to see that. Real shit. Like your parents yeah. might not have seen that. Mm -hmm. And for the public to see it. So it's like, mm -hmm. oh, there's, I guarantee there's you, there people are people at home that are like, damn, it is okay to like love your girl and be yeah, like, okay, yeah. I ain't know because I was never shown that affection, mm -hmm. but you showing that like people yeah. love when I show TK affection. Granted, yeah. it's it's what I naturally TK loves really want to yes. do. But <laughs> it goes so far, so it's like even that like it's so important yeah. for us with having platforms to like show, show that people. love and really express those issues, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, you might hate her today, yeah. but talking about that, it lets somebody else know. So then yeah. they can be the game changer later. Yeah. You right. never know who's watching. Yeah. It will change somebody else's life. That yeah. will change the world for better, for especially sure. as black people. We yeah. got to.